this Thursday on Home and Family, it's Halloween. We go ghost hunting in a real life haunted house. Illusionist Yvonne Amode is here to mystify us and Fabio Viviani is cooking up a roasted pork loin filled with butternut squash. It's all happening this Thursday right here on Home and Family. When the moon hits your eye. Oh, like look at this. Let's just this lie. Lie. 90 seconds. Yes, That's for this pizza. Is. Isn't that I know, but before, wow. hey, before we go to Italy, we're going on a fun jet vacation, we too. We should. We should. Where? It's your last chance for this uh, for this edition. Our fun jet dream vacation sweepstakes could be yours and give you a getaway for two to Jamaica Man all-inclusive accommodations at the Rio yes, Montego Bay, courtesy of fun jet vacations. Do something you'll never forget. Like experience a world of fun and comfort. Come on, rock it out. This expansive resort spread amidst lush tropical gardens, a beautiful beach. Guests will have a chance to enjoy impressive selection of restaurants. <laughs> Activities and family friendly amenities, just so you know. Set up the sundown, there's plenty for everyone in the sun to get away. Sandra, <laughs> I I all you have to do is listen for the two clue words. We'll give those away in the show. Once you have those, you rush off to our website, you register. Home at hallmarkchannel.com forward slash home and family is the place to get everything you need to know. The contest started Monday, it ends today, the 28th of October at 12 o'clock Pacific time. Not sure what happened with all the commotion, but I'm gonna take my four IQ and I'm gonna keep it right down the barrel. We need to tell you on all about it. I so need a vacation, you have no idea. All right. You can enter each day if you wish. All right, well, we're so, so excited. We have our studio, our audience here. They're talking about fun jet vacations. And right now, Michael Dean is the owner of the number one Zagat rated pizzeria across the country. And I'm so excited to learn how to make one of Michael's specialty pizzas because people come from all around to go to your restaurant in Long Beach yes. to come and have these pizzas. Absolutely. So wha what does it mean for you to be rated number one? But Mr. Zagat is very particular about, you know, what he picks to put in his guide. He sure is, Christina. Yeah. He sends a lot of people out to eat in different restaurants to get a, a feeling for how that food is made and what makes that food better. What makes Michael's Pizzeria better and will be the first time you've ever tasted pizza Tell this us. very Tell way? Tell us. Well, we <laughs> really want to know. Come on. Is yeah. the fact that the flour comes from Naples, Italy, and it's yeah. double zero flour, which is a fine flour, and it's really a flour that's used to make pizza, not bread. Pizza, oh. not bread. That, okay. okay. There are uh, there, but there are a lot of questions we want to ask yeah. you. But I would like to get these pizzas in the oven and then continue to ask you sure. more questions Absolutely. on how you do this because it takes 90 seconds. Yes. And I want to make sure we get everything in. Of so course. if you could show us exactly how we can make these pizzas, well, we're going to have how someone. We get started. We're going to have Vito teach you how to Vito. make them. Right? Okay. Okay. Vito. 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 All right. Okay, Vito. 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 Yeah. Look how okay. beautiful. Look at that. Oh. Oh. So I mean, this two days ago. Dough, we could understand that the dough really cooks two times. It cooks once when you put the yeast in it, because okay. it stays 24 hours, and Go it ahead. stands and it rises. Yeah. And the next thing it, when it cooks is when it's made into a pizza. It's stretched and made into pizza, and it's put into a flat, round um, uh, pizza, and then it's put into the oven, and it's cooked for 90 seconds. All That's right. what makes it light. Now, how, now, it's, now what are you oh, doing? Yeah. Nice. Oh, oh, go ahead, Mark. Try it. Take the jacket off. Try this at home. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Christine. So I can, can do it. I can do it. It's not a problem. <laughs> I would love to see that. So now you're watching IQ uh, to do that. Okay. Okay. Well, I've got two extra. Don't insult me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, it's it's got to be fresh. It's half of my brain. For what has to be fresh? Vito. The mozzarella. The mozzarella. The mozzarella. And you. It's it's made every day. It's at yes. the restaurant, fresh wow. each day. Yeah. And it's made from curd that comes from New Jersey cows. And we bring it out here, and that's how it's done. So Do you it's need the paddle fresh. for that? Yes. Okay, it's right going right to go into the oven, then I want to ask you more questions about sure. and then it your... takes like okay. almost 90 seconds to cook. Can I put it in? Can I put it in? Can I put it in? Somebody put a, put a, that's a yes. serious timer on that. Right that's a, and that's 800 degrees. So okay, we're looking at another 800, 800 degrees? degrees. To, okay, yeah. so we have to go one shot. On the center. In the center? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Most yeah. folks don't have a pizza it's oven on wheels, so yes. can we still do this at home if we do it on a regular oven? Absolutely. Okay. It's going to taste a little different, but it's going to be the essence of the same. The thing. essence. Okay. What's the secret, though, now, yes. now for, for this? Right. There's now to give the flame. Uh huh. When you give the flame, you give the oxygen to the pizza, and then it pumps out and makes soft. The 
and crunch and in crispy. the same. Oh, so oh. do you have to move it around? No, well, we, no? we have to turn it on. Yes. To the one time to the other side like this. Uh, to catch the flame on each oh, the other side. The, the yes. fire is on one side. I can Oops, see it puffing up already. Yeah. So, well, Mike, what kind of training does it take? To, you, is, is well, there Vito's a formal been making pizza. It takes a lot of training. He's been making pizza since <laughs> right? he's uh, eight at, years old. I stopped eight years old. Yeah. At eight years of age? Yes. Yes. With your yeah. nonna in the kitchen? My father and my grandfather <laughs> teach me. I'm going to go I put my like kids it. to work when I get home. Yeah. <laughs> I'm three or four years behind already. Yeah, absolutely. I, lo I love to do this. And that's yeah. So it becomes a skill set when you're cooking with a wood oven because a wood burning oven cooking at that high a temperature becomes a little difficult to maneuver unless you know what you're doing. But that's why you put your Possible. people through such rigorous training, they go right? What, training. what do you tr train them to do? Well, we teach them first to make the, make the flour, then pull the cheese, learn all the, ben all the es essence of how we put it together. Then they apprentice on the oven itself, and that takes sometimes two, three months before so we can get somewhere. What? The pizza's ready. Oh my goodness, he it says it's ready. ready. Look at Look that. At that. Oh. oh my goodness. Wow, that was 90 seconds. Do we have a thing to cut it? Do we yes. have a knife? And I must say that normally you don't cut Neop no? Neapolitan-style pizza. I'm going to eat, fold it, knead it? We, you can fold it and eat it, but we're going to cut it for you. Okay. All right, normally, wait, I, 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 gotta, I have a question. Yes, go ahead. Uh, uh, first of all, why am I talking like this? <laughs> I, I don't know it. why I'm doing it. All of a sudden, I've got a question for you. Uh, I don't know how we can do this at the home. Excuse me. How to, yeah, how, what tips at home? Because I, I do this pizza thing traditionally with my, my kids. Every Christmas Eve, we make pizza. Yes. It's always a, a wreck. Yes. yes. Like the dough is all this is that hot. starts this big and it shrinks to this. Well, I think what we're going to do is give you a little bit of a recipe and tell you how to do it. Okay. Yes. We can do that pretty quickly. Mas okay. Malcolm, would you uh, bring that over? Secret: Do it the, the night before with your kids. Yes. Yeah. Let it rest for three for uh, three hours. Then before you go to bed, put it in the refrigerator. Oh. Next day, oh. you oh. Oh. Yes. Oh. To remember the dough cooks twice. One is when the yeast is rising, and sure. the second one is in the oven. Is in the oven. So then the you next day you have to leave that 24 hour period. That's the key. In the balls. Oh. I'm gonna pass and then this you out. Stretch it. May I? May I just tearing into the dessert here? You can. It's the first one to go. Let's wait. Wait. This is Nutella. Okay. Nutella. So oh, there it is. Here's a new chocolate. Okay, yeah. what we want to do is... We're being this very is, Italian and just using oh, our hands. Okay. What so we'd weird. like to do is to go down the line here to show you the oh. different types of pizzas. Of course, oh. you guys already <laughs> ate the dessert pizza. <laughs> but not only traditional margarita pizza, excuse me, but what are some of the other ones that you have there besides... So this one is uh, sausage and broccoli, Rob. This is we amazing. make our wow. sausage mm. in the house. Oh, and the sausage. So good. Have that. oh my gosh. This one is the most popular one. It's prosciutto, arugula. I want to try the broccoli one. That looks so delicious. And this one is a very modern pizza. Oh my God. We put it in the oven. It's this ham. Ham. Stracciatella, which is a pizza. It's amazing. And pistachio nuts. This is amazing. Pistachio nuts. That's one of my old my creation. Oh, this is just like a feast. I will say, even though my kitchen is completely trashed, it is a great experience with the kids. They love building their pizzas. Oh, it's fantastic. And at Michael's Pizzeria, we have a philosophy that we want to teach children how to make pizza. So everyone that comes oh. in with young children, mm -hmm. we give them a, a pizza ball and they make their own pizza. Oh, what a great yeah, no, tradition. Oh, we're, 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 we're going. We're, we're taking the kids. Yeah. All right, Mark, there's yours. We just this took it out. This is the best pizza I've ever had. Almost ever. I think Remember, this is, has to be right the up there. Remember, we don't cut the pizza. We don't cut it. Now, <laughs> the reason you don't cut it, Mark, is uh. because the, the water, the natural milk that comes out of the curd, uh -huh. might, makes the pizza a little damp. So oh. you so don't want to cut it immediately. You wait for it to set. For how long? So the Italians just take it and eat it two minutes after the pizza is served. Sure. Look at that. that. There you go, Mark, with the sausage okay. off. The homemade oh sausage. Uh, Michael's tasting the pizza. This. this is the best on, part of it. By the way, for more the information on yeah. Michael Dean, you can visit uh, hallmarkchannel.com forward slash mm, home and family. Or you can go to michaelspizzeria.com and you'll get all, you won't get to taste it because you can't eat anything that, uh, off of your computer. Uh, <laughs> I know, right? Uh-oh. Uh, you're busy. Do you want me to do it for more information on Michael Dean? Yeah, I just, you, oh, you just did that? Okay, I'm, I, I wasn't that. listening. I'm eating. Okay. Coming up. We're going to show you how to put the perfect finishing touch on your Halloween display with some eerie fog. You're going to keep it real low to the ground for those kiddos coming up to your front door. Thank you.